It's now time to taste your tag team dishes. Justine and Matt, please bring up your bento box. I'm really nervous about how our bento box looks. You know, you're only as good as your last dish, and I'm hoping this isn't my last dish. Well, I gotta tell you, if this tastes the way it looks, you're in trouble. What happened to the shrimp in particular here? I mean, they look like a sea monster. Yeah, definitely. I take full responsibility for that. Are you comfortable with Justine taking the heat for this? Nope, I was the one who dropped them in the oil. She was the one who wrapped them and deveined them, and she did a great job of that. You're aware this is an elimination challenge, right? Someone's going home. I don't want Matt or Justine to be going home. I tried my best to help them, but I may have distracted them instead. If this tastes the way it looks, you're in trouble. OK. Who made the batter? I Justine did. did. Let's try this. That's awesome. <laughs> Perfect seasoning, great texture, and the tempura batter, it is as light as a cloud. It's like air. That's very difficult to do. And you got every single component. You got everything. But you're not out of the woods yet. Cut the salmon. Uh, I cut the salmon. Do you know what's wrong with the salmon? It's the skin. The skin simply should not be on the salmon. That's my fault. I take full responsibility for that. Let me cut this in half and give it a try. But after I remove a little bit of that skin, not the best sushi rice I've had. I do find it a tad undercooked. I want that rice to form almost little pearls in my mouth. This is a little crunchy. Who cooked the rice? It was really a group effort for both of us. Disappointing. Yes. I'm disappointed in myself. Justine! Matt! Oh, my. Chef Alvin. These are very unevenly cut. Well, tell you what, beef tastes great. But this is Wagyu beef. I mean, the beef is speaking for itself. Absolutely. Not for you guys. Searing, can't see it, can't find the crust. You were asked to replicate. Have you done that? We tried really hard. At this point, trying is not good enough. Miranda and Aaron? This is a replication challenge, and we forgot a component of it. It's going to be a rough one. Miranda, at the end of this cook, I couldn't help but notice that you were looking pretty upset. I realized we were missing the lotus root. Whose fault was that? It's a team effort. We succeed as a team or we lose as a team. Who assembled this portion of the plate? Aaron assembled that portion of the plate. That's unfortunate. Indeed. The uh, shrimp look a little bit on the wilder side, maybe not quite wrapped as well as you'd hope. I was responsible for wrapping the shrimp, and I take full responsibility for their appearance. Let's give it a taste. This is delicious. <sighs> really beautiful. Maybe not the prettiest shrimp, <laughs> but it made up for in taste. Thank you, chef. <laughs> in any good sushi, the rice, it's always very important. You want to know something? You got a bite. Once it enters my mouth, it separates. So it's not sticking together. Slice on the fish, I think it's a nice replication. But that rice, that rice is good. This is the problem. The beef is not cut with a really deft hand. There's some tears in the meat. Flavor is your saving grace. Tagarashi is used very wisely. Not too much, not too little. Perfectly seasoned. Only if it was cut properly. 
This challenge was all about details, and I hope this does not cost you. This is the closest I've ever felt to elimination, and I, I'm not ready for that. Trevor and Barry, please bring up your bento box. They're gunning today. They're going after the smallest details. It's making me really nervous. At first glance, I'm very impressed. These are round, very nice. Beef, well cut. Everything's there, right? Wrong. What's not there, then? We missed the lotus root. Oh, or you missed the lotus root. I missed the lotus oh, root. Oh, you missed the lotus root. Now, wonton noodle crusted shrimp. It certainly looks better than everyone else. But taste is king. Now that is delicious. <laughs> Good season on it. Cooked perfectly. I'm very impressed. Thank you, chef. Thank you, chef. <sighs> Who made the sushi? I did the rice. Trevor sliced the salmon. Looks pretty textbook. Thank you, chef. Thank you, chef. The rice is perfectly cooked, but it's not perfectly seasoned. We use mirin. Rice wine is what you use with sushi rice. This is the most beautiful bento box we've seen in this challenge. But it looks a lot better than it tastes, unfortunately. Sorry, buddy. No worries. No worries. What a beautiful piece of beef, huh? Yes, chef. So who actually cooked it? I did, chef. You did. Look, it looks nicely cooked. The encrusting of it. Looks like you have a little of the togoroshi on the top here. Here goes. You barely have to chew. It is so tender. That little searing on the outside, the heat that comes in from the togoroshi seasoning, just a plate of that on its own, and I'd be a happy man. Me too, chef. Very nicely done. That was very tough. I see a lot of nice replication. I think we're OK. But quite a few mistakes. I hope so. The main negative comments were on things that I did myself. So if it comes down to Barry and I in the bottom, I think I'm going home. It doesn't make it easy to pick a winning team. This is the hardest thing I've ever done in my entire life. When you're at this level with the top eight, it's never easy to say bye to any of them. I think I know what we have to do. Let's go. Let's go tell them. There is no clear winner here. I feel like all of us messed it up. The bento box that you attempted to replicate tonight was a delicious sum of many intricate parts. And while your teamwork was impressive across the board, one team stood out due to their visual finesse and attention to detail. And that team is... Trevor and Mary, congratulations. Barry and Trevor had the best dish of the day. Yeah! Thank you, chefs. I honestly thought I'd be on the bottom. Very relieved. <laughs> Aaron and Miranda, Justine and Matt. After careful deliberation, we decided that one team put slightly more care into their presentation and flavors. And that team is... Aaron and Miranda. Oh, no. By the skin of our teeth. Please go back to your stations. I just feel like I let Justine down, and uh, she doesn't deserve that. She's a good cook. I really, really don't want to send someone home because of my mistakes. Justine and Matt, throughout the challenge and throughout your tasting, you stood strong as a team. You shared credit for what worked, and when we criticized elements on your plate, you shared the blame. And now the three of us share a very difficult task. As hard as this is, and taking everything into consideration, 
we feel we have no choice but to say goodbye to both of you. <gasps> oh my God. fierce competitor, which is why everyone in this kitchen wanted to cook with you. And you proved to be a gentleman, which is why we will all miss you very, very much. Justine, anyone that brings as much joie de vivre and raw talent into the kitchen should never stop pursuing their culinary dreams. Now both of you, come on up and say goodbye.